We're gonna start off this look with an Ulta Beauty palette and it just has a bunch of random colors and I'm gonna be taking this bright orange color and I'm gonna be putting this on the lids. And this is just gonna be a base for whatever's to come, which isn't really much because this is the low key part for some of you girls that don't like to dress up but kind of like to be in the spirit anyways. Then I'm, with the same orange, I'm gonna take a small brush and I'm gonna be putting that on the lower lash line as well. Then I'm going to be taking this devilish red color, and it, these are matte colors by the way if you haven't noticed. And I'm going to be putting this in the crease, I'm just going to be blending it upwards, not too far up to the brow bone because we don't want this to be too dramatic, just festive, so keep that in mind. I'm also going to drag that red color down into the outer thirds of my lower lash line as well. I'm really loving it already. I'm going to be taking the same orange color from the beginning and be, I'm going to be putting that in the inner corners. Then I'm going to be taking a white shimmering eyeshadow and I'm going to be putting that in my brow bones. Then with a fluffy brush I'm just going to blend that red back, back out because we're, we're missing some pieces there. Then with that same white shimmering eyeshadow I'm going to be putting that in the inner corners. And then I'm going to be taking my Cila Waterproof I'll Stay All Day Eyeliner, which is my holy grail eyeliner of all time. I'm just going to be adding a slight winged liner. Nothing too crazy. Then I'm going to be taking my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Zero, which is their black. They're black as black. I'm going to be putting that on my wa lower waterline. Then I'm going to be curling my eyelashes and I'm not going to be putting on falsies. I'm just going to be taking my amazing Voluminous Butterfly Mascara from L'Oreal. And I'm just going to be putting a lot of mascara on, on my top and bottom lashes. After that, I am done with the eyes, so this is a very low maintenance kind of Halloween look. So then I'm going to move on to the cheeks, I'm just going to take a burnt bronzer. Well, it's not burnt, like literally, it's just like the color. And I'm going to be putting that on my cheekbones and also on my cheek area where I'm going to be smiling, the apples, so I can look nice and toasty and warm like I was in front of a bonfire. Okay, moving on to the lips, I'm going to be taking one of my favorite MAC lip liners of all time, which is Boldly Bare, and then I'm also going to be taking another favorite, which is Kinda Sexy by MAC Over That, and to give a nice, like, moisturized finish, I'm going to be taking my lip balm and I'm going to be dabbing that in the center of my lips, just so they can be nice and moisturized, especially if you're going to be out that night. So that is the completed makeup, very simple for you low maintenance girls, but wanting to stay in the Halloween spirit. Wait, there's something missing though. I look too plain. <laughs> I just grabbed some devil horns to make this look a little bit more festive, and yeah, that's your simple devil girl tutorial. It is really cute, low key, perfect for the girls who do not want to go all out but still want to look like they're in the Halloween spirit. So I love these little devil horns. I'm definitely going to be rocking that throughout this October. Okay, now we're going to move on to look number two. This look has a little bit more work to it, but it is also very simple. And this is for the girls who are wanting something simple, but with a little bit more oomph to it. I don't know how else to explain that. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to take my blackest black Maybelline gel liner and I'm going to be making an intense cat eye. Like we're going to want to look like a cat because we are going to become a cat. So I'm just going to be put, making a really intense wing. Take your time. It's going to, it's going to take some time. Just, just saying. It takes some practice, but if you keep 
just practicing the line will come out perfect and if you have if it's too hard for you then just do what I'm doing which is taking a concealer on a flat brush and kind of making the line look sharp it does take a long time but if you're patient then the look will come out really awesome after I'm done making that really big wing, I'm going to drag the liner in the inner corners and also make a thick lower line at the bottom as well. It's going to make these smoldering cat eyes and it's just so perfect for Halloween. Then I'm going to be taking my favorite matte black eyeshadow which is this hip L'Oreal shadow in Perky and I'm going to be using this a lot for my Halloween tutorials so just saying. And I'm going to be putting that over the gel liner so it can make it more matte and intense. Then I'm going to be taking some random false lashes from Thailand and I'm going to be just putting those on and then putting some black liquid eyeliner over that so you don't see the glue. Then taking some mascara and putting that over my falsies and then on my lower lash line. And your eyes are done. With all the hard work and effort, they came out awesome. Then taking my e.l.f. Eyes, Lips, and Face palette, I'm just going to be taking a dark brown contour color and I'm going to be making like a curved contour just so my cheeks can look more fluffy, kind of like a cat. Now my camera stupidly cut off me making these lines on my face and I'm so upset about it but I just went over the lines so you guys could see what I did and added a little bit more definition so they look like whiskers. I didn't want to remove it and redo it because then it would have messed up all of my makeup that I had underneath. So just bear with me guys. So then I'm going to be making a cute little triangle on my nose, an upside down triangle to get that cat look and I honestly love this. It was really adorable. I really loved it this makeup look and how it was turning out so far. With the same matte black eyeshadow, I'm going to be putting that over the nose to keep it in place. Then I'm going to be taking MAX Whirl Lip Lip Liner to be lining my lips. Cats don't wear lipstick, but this is a makeup look and we got to complete it, right? So after I'm done lining, I, I'm going to be using this new lipstick that I got from MAC, which is Twig. And yes, I do use a lot of MAC products. That's, they're just my favorite lipsticks. So you can use any drugstore dupe if you want. This is a satin finish, so it's gonna you don't need to add a gloss. So that is the makeup look, you guys, and I'm gonna be showing you how else I completed this cat look. I picked up these cat ears from Spirit. If you guys saw my latest vlog, you saw me looking for stuff at Spirit. So if you want to check that out, go ahead. And this just makes you look just like a cat, obviously. And they're so cute and fuzzy. I really like these guys. And now I feel com complete with my cat ears. So here is a close-up of the eyes, and the makeup is done. So my costume is just, I'm wearing a leotard with a tutu. I don't have the tail, but this is just my version of the cat costume. So I hope you guys loved it, and I'll see you in my next tutorial. Bye!